this video we are going to discuss next generation firewall ngfw next generation firewall as I told you previously in other slides as well that next generation firewall perform the role of traditional firewall and it's add the next generation IPS feature as well. And next generation firewall is the part of third generation firewall technology, the latest one. All next generation firewall offer two key features, not only two, I would say three. App awareness means application ID and user ID. So next generation firewall provide deep packet inspection of the traffic, which other firewall cannot do. Next generation firewall add application level inspection and intrusion prevention. Next generation firewall provide all traditional IPS feature with high performance. So the thing which can be done by other firewall in one hour. So next generation firewall will do the same job in 10 minutes. Next generation firewall allowed and block traffic based on specific application rather than by port number, even though you can use port number as well. Also, this next generation firewall allowed and blocked traffic based on user ID. Also, it provide you IPS and application control function. As I told you previously, there is no huge difference between UTM and next generation firewall. But the main difference between UTM and next generation firewall that next generation Firewall provide high performance and processing using to protect your network. So if I say what is the main difference? So the first difference between other firewall and next generation is application identification. Because it's com combination of application signature, protocol detection, decryption, protocol encoding, and so many other method to use to identify the application rather than by port. Second feature is content ID. It scan the content. Whatever you are sending and receiving, it will be checked. Like credit card number, social security number, patron, it will check those details. It will check vulnerability. It will check viruses, spyware, URL, and so many other things you can check using content ID to scan the content which you are sending and receiving. And the third big feature of next generation firewall is user ID, identify by user rather than source IP destination IP. So it means you can connect your Active Directory, connect LDAP and any other solution to your firewall so it give you more control by user, by group, visibility, policy enforcement for user and group. This is called app ID. So we have three main feature in next generation firewall. App ID, user ID and content ID. App ID, you told you identification, identify the application, user ID, identify the user and content ID to scan the content using many things. So application identification definitely is the main component of any firewall, Palo Alto, FortiGate, Checkpoint, any firewall to identify by application and they are using many method and then content ID to scan. They are using their engine to prevent many attack. They are using many things, web filtering, vulnerability, viruses, spyware, and so many other things. And user ID, definitely, I already told you, by user, you can connect your Active Directory. So you can use portal as well, and you can use many other methods. So let me show you here and checkpoint as well. So if we go to security policy, so in traditional firewall, we need source IP and destination IP and port number. But here you can see I'm using group. 
my source is HR group. And if I see the logs, so here you will see the logs related to this group, HR by user. So I create this policy by user or by group. Like this one is sales group and sales user. Traditional firewall is not possible. But here in next generation firewall, you can create the policy based on source user and group as well. You can allow because IP can be spoof. So if we go here, so we say HR group. And here the other detail. And if you go to IT, so if IT somebody use IT, so it will show you IT related stuff. And here you can see if I double click, so it say that the HR one, this the username source is this IP plus this user. And this the system detail. This the username IT one and HR one, this the source IP, this the system detail and where he go and how it is allowed or deny. So you can create the policy based on machine. You can create base based on network based on IP address. And the most important is user and next generation firewall. Second thing we discuss in next generation firewall is application. So here rather than to use port number, you can see I say FTP. And if you click here, you may see many application. Here you can see all the application. These are all the application and services which you can use and you can search them as well. So rather than based on port number, you can use the FTP. So if I change the FTP port, still it will be black. Suppose here is FTP is allowed, yeah, but HTTP and HTTPS is not allowed for this person. Suppose this one. So do you think a normal and traditional firewall, if I'm using 21 port for FTP and if I change my port number, so I, somebody can access me because firewall will look after 21 port, but if I'm using application, so whatever my port number, if the application is FTP, they will block me either. They will allow me. So that's why this is the second feature of next generation firewall to protect your network based on application to allow and deny the traffic based on application rather than port number. So you can use a lot of if, if application here. And the third one we discuss about a next generation firewall is user ID told you then content ID. There are many things here is threat protection. You can use threat protection. There are many blades available related to IPS, antibot, antivirus, and so many other are available to protect your network from any sort of attack. So this policy is just to allow and deny the traffic. But this policy threat prevention policy where you can IPS, you can enable antibot, you can enable antivirus and so many other blades. So when you enable it will scan the traffic in and out traffic. And if it is dangerous, if there is anything, they will block the traffic. Like maybe there is a viruses. So suppose if the picket is FTP because normal policy, they will allow them because we say that if the traffic is FTP allowed, accept them. Do you think maybe that FTP has a viruses? So we need extra layer of protection and that is called content ID, which we have extra policy to enable antibot, antivirus. IPS to check all those things and vulnerability. So even if the traffic is FTP, which is allowed by our access control policy, but it will be checked by our threat prevention policy. If there is a virus is it will be black. Who is providing this is called content ID. 
I'm giving I'm giving you example and big picture because these concept are similar in any next generation firewall. It can be checkpoint firewall. It can be firepower. It can be Cisco SA and it can be Palo Alto and it can be any other vendor firewall. So that's why I'm, I put this slide here. So base traditional firewall will say this is 53 port and they will allowed. But here because it's bit torrent on the port number. So bit torrent is using DNS port and firewall will check only 53 port and they will allow you. I'm talking about traditional firewall. While on the other side, next generation firewall, Palo Alto firewall, FortiGate firewall, checkpoint firewall, they will check not the port, they will check the signature. If it is a DNS, because our rule here, it will be based on DNS. Here I can type here DNS. Now it doesn't mean that if it is 53 port, they will allow you. No, they will block you. If you are using and manipulating this port number and the application is something else, they will identify you and they will block you. So this is the difference between traditional firewall and next generation firewall. And also I explain you about the WAF and also next generation firewall. So I hope so you get the idea and what is next generation firewall.